<laughs> Mr. Mayor, Council, Misty, hello. Um, I still haven't got that yet. You know those figures I asked for that you said you were going to send to me. It was my understanding that uh, they didn't show up. So anyway, so hello there. Um, I have come up and spoken several times here. I always speak very passionately because I love this town. My wife and I moved here 10 years ago. I don't want to go into why and all that such stuff, but this place is just heaven to us. It always has been. Um, I have a few things I'd like to say. I want to respond to a couple of things that were said here by this council at the last meeting. <coughs> Okay, the first one I would like to uh, address something that was said by uh, uh, Pam Gross, where you stated that the city of Mason charges $75 every 90 days for their vendors at the farmer's market. This was after I had mentioned that I had made phone calls to everybody in the area to determine what was the standard and common practices in the area, and it turns out that I said that everybody charges nothing for their, for their municipality for the farmer's market vendors. So I went ahead and got back with them. Hello, Joe. Thanks for the call today. As discussed via phone, the city of Mason does not have a specific licensing fee for vendors participating in special events or programs throughout the city. We do from time to time host events where vendors are present and the city will set an application fee based on expected attendance at the event. This fee will vary from event to event. We do not currently charge a fee for vendors who participate in the Mason Farmers Market, which takes place on Mason City Schools property and is organized by a Mason resident. Jenna Hurley, Administrative Assistant, Community Events Coordinator, City of Mason. Okay, I just wanted to make that correction first. Okay, we, I, I presented factual information here. Nobody charges the vendors of their farmer's market in the area anything except for the City of Lebanon, and it, it, that's because the City of Lebanon runs the farmer's market. Okay, now the next thing. Um, Mr. Mayor, you asked a question last week about the grass being greener. You said if the grass was greener elsewhere, how come no one else has left yet? I would like to tell you that the grass was never any greener than it was here in Loveland at this farmer's market where the vendors absolutely enjoyed coming here, meeting the people and running this market. The grass is now very much greener elsewhere because you've poisoned the lawn here it's brown and it's dead. I am now going to switch hats because I'm one of the vendors at the farmer's market. I am going to speak just very plainly as a vendor from the farmer's market, not somebody that just loves the city of Loveland. Um, if these fees stay as they are, I and every other vendor at the farmer's market will no longer be doing business in Loveland. We're leaving. I don't know whether we're going to be leaving with the farmer's market, if the farmer's market is going to find someplace else for us, but I can guarantee you that every one of us is gone. That's 40 vendors on every, every Tuesday. It's a wonderful, wonderful time. And you've chased us out. You've run us out. We didn't ask to be run out. We kind of liked it here, but you've done it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, Dave.